Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Oh My Dear One. Well, today is the first video of the spring series, so I'm really excited for it. The thing we're going to do today is a soil test. That has always got to come first. That's going to help set up my plans for fertilizers and everything else for the rest of the season. So with that, let's get at it. Mastery soil test. Um, I really like the Yard Mastery products. They're really geared towards the DIY homeowner like myself. So really excited for this. So let's unbox it and kind of see what the plan is for it. All right. Important keep this act document to access your results. So got to register this number and everything so I can access the results later. Looks like an envelope to send the stuff on. And. We gotta register it online, add the soil, nail the kit, and we'll get the results. So I found this tool online <clears throat> on Amazon. It was only like 20 bucks was all. Got it sent to me. And basically all it is is it's gonna help me take the core samples for this soil sample. Now, you take the samples from everywhere, you mix them together in a bag, and that's gonna kinda give you an overall of your one. If you really wanna get picky, you could get several different kits and test different areas of your lawn to see if there's anything different but for the average DIY homeowner like myself one kit will give you a good idea of what's going on with all of it so really excited that let's uh, take some cores and get going on this all right guys so now we want to take the core samples like I said you want to do it from six to eight places in your yard they've got to be about four to six inch samples it says and take these cores from about six to seven places in the yard and uh, send them off and see what our results show. Kind of hard. Definitely want to get rid of this North Natuator that's for full of organic material. And then we'll add the soil to the bag so we can mix them all together and get a good sample. Now, with that, let's go get the rest of them and then we'll get this shipped off and uh, be back in about hopefully a week or so to read through the results together. Now the plan is to mix these all together. This looks like an OSHA approved tool to do this. We mix it all together, and then we're going to take the scoop out and put it in that thing, and then we'll go put it in the mail. Um, the only thing I maybe would have done different about this whole process, I may have wanted to let the yard thaw out just a little bit more. It's really hard to collect those cores. I imagine here in a couple weeks when it warms up a bit more, um, it'll be even better to do this. But for your average DIY homeowner, homeowner, this process is pretty easy. So really excited with this kit and how it's working. So let's get it uh, good and mixed here. and. Get sent off in the mail and we'll be back with the results.
Hi guys, it's a little bit later in the afternoon, so I know the mail already came today, so I'm going to run this down to the post office. So overall though, so far with the process, I'm really impressed with the Yard Mas Mastery Soil Test Kit. Super easy to use, very user friendly, and honestly, I can't wait to see the results. And I'd like to even compare them to what my other results showed and the different things that they read. So can't wait till this all comes back. I got it all registered online like they said, so the results... I'll get email updates where they are at in the process of everything. So I'm really excited. Can't wait to see the end result of all of this. And I can't wait to share them with you guys. And honestly, so far, really impressed for the average DIYer. This is a great soil test kit. So with that, let's get it in the mail. And I'll be back in six to nine days. All right, guys, and welcome back. We are now six days from when I did the soil test. And... I got the results back. I kind of want to go over my previous soil test, what I had planned to work on with that previous soil test, and let's see where I got over this last year. See what kind of progress I have made and what I have done. So with that, let's review it. All right guys, so on my previous soil test, I had done it. I probably didn't quite do it at the right time. I'd uh, thrown down like just about four weeks before I did it. But the two things I noticed on it that I really wanted to work on was one, my pH level. Uh, the pH level in my yard before was 7.8, so quite a bit high. Um, then the next thing I noticed is my phosphorus levels were off the chart, like they were almost to the very tip top of the chart. So I think they were at like 49 something parts per million on my previous soil test. So now that I got the new soil test back, what I'm seeing is my pH is now down to 7.28 which is great progress. That means the things that I did last year were really effective at changing the pH of the lawn. Um, the next thing, the phosphorus, it came down to almost within an optimal range. The optimal range they said is, I think the top of it was like 11. I was 11.01. .01. So my fertilizer choices and stuff last year really did truly make a difference in my soil tests this year. So really excited for those results. Um, they're still kind of at the top, so I think that's what I'm going to continue working on this year is my pH and the phosphorus levels. Uh, I'm clearly on the right track. I'm doing really good with it, and I'm really excited for the season. So, let's talk about the Yard Mastery Soil Test Kit. Alrighty guys, so the Yard Mastery Soil Test Kit, I am really, truly impressed with it. The, the results were quick. They were simple and easy to read, even for a DIY person like myself. Like, I'm still learning all the different values and stuff and what they're doing to my yard. So, for me, it was a great, great test. Um, I didn't really see any negatives with it. The only thing I would complain about is maybe I'd like a lot more information, but that's because I'm kind of a nerd. But, honestly, that extra information would probably make it a lot more difficult for me because I would start overthinking things and probably get myself into more trouble than what it was actually worth so I'm really happy with the kit I'm really happy with how they're doing it and I will definitely be using it again in the future make sure you guys go check them out and try testing your own yard and pick something to work, a couple things to work on and test it again the next year and see how you do it's it's quite an awesome process and I couldn't be happier with my results All right, guys, with that, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to go follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I post a lot of extra stuff I'm doing on there, and I'm really excited with how things are turning out here in the yard. So make sure to go check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more coming this year, and I'm really excited for all the things I got coming for you guys here in the next few videos. With that, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.